Gastroesophageal reflux disease is a constellation of symptoms that usually leads to a really significant change in the patient's quality of life. The typical symptoms associated with what we call GERD, or heartburn, and regurgitation. The atypical symptoms associated with GERD are those that are more associated with the throat area. Things like hoarseness, right? So your, your voice changing, a chronic cough, a chronic sensation that something is stuck in the back of your throat called globus. When I see patients with typical symptoms and a few other parameters, then I can tell that patient, you have a better likelihood that you're gonna do well with surgery. If you have symptoms and they're uncontrolled, you don't wanna leave GERD untreated because eventually it can lead to esophageal cancer. Why does GERD happen? Esophagus, stomach, intestine. This here is your hiatus. If this opening gets too big, then you can develop what's called a hiatal hernia. So you can see the hiatus here, it looks like it's about twice the size of that. This part of the stomach is herniated up into the chest. Now why is this bad? The chest has negative pressure. That's how air gets into your lungs. So the same way that air gets into your lungs, the acid that's up here is not going up into your esophagus. Second reason, the hiatus kind of acts to actually work like an anti-reflux mechanism. So now that you've interrupted the muscle fibers around here, now you don't have that anti-reflux mechanism that has the same integrity as it did before you got the hiatal hernia. So for these reasons, <clears throat> hiatal hernias lead to reflux. And I can tell you that 80% of patients who have reflux have it because they have a hiatal hernia. And the other 20% are either getting what we call a transient lower esophageal sphincter relaxation. So transiently, the sphincter is opening and closing or the sphincter is just always open. A hiatal hernia or any hernia cannot be fixed without surgery. The only way to fix hernia, which is a hernia, which is an anatomic abnormality, is with surgery. And that's where we come. So when should you see a surgeon? If you have that patient that's on PPIs, they're happy, they're not worried about the side effects, then that patient is totally fine. The patients that we usually see are the ones who either the medications are just not working as well, or patients who are the ones who have giant hiatal hernias. The issue with this is that these patients, the older patients, usually older females, they come in with a twisting of the stomach that leads to what we call dysphagia, trouble swallowing. So people who are having issues with swallowing where things are getting stuck, they're vomiting, that's another reason why we treat hiatal hernias. Thanks for tuning in guys uh, to Medical Mondays. Happy Monday to everyone. I hope you have a wonderful week and uh, we'll see you soon.